You mentioned Gail Sayers, and I think Gail Sayers' value is kind of lost on like a lot of listeners who might not be aware of before there was Barry Sanders, before it was O.J. Simpson. It was it was Gail Sayers, it, and 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 he was everything Jim Brown was not. He was the fast. He was fleet faster. Of foot. He was quicker. He was it, ex- exactly. And and then I I once had a chance to see him. Uh, when he was talking to players, this is when I was uh, trying to make a practice squad, and he came in to actually speak. It was actually was actually with the I was I was I was trying out for the Vikings. He comes in. And he was speaking to players because uh, Coach Denny Green had brought him in, and um, he said, you know, somebody asked him, you know, how did you? Because like we were watching film of him back in the day when he was doing his thing, and they said, you know, you know, you know, Mr. Sayers. How did you go about deciding which way you were going to go? Because he had this thing where he would change directions in midair like Walter Payton would do. Like Walter Payton would leave his feet and he'd be going northeast. And when he come down, he's going south. And it's just like in full speed. It's like, dude, zero to 60, forget that. Zero to 80 in three seconds. He was just amazing. Walter Payton was, obviously. So, but Gail Sears was that before there was Walter Payton. So he said his thing was when he always saw guys tackling in what, in what they call tandem, which is actually an interesting word because that's what's used in basketball whenever we train guys on the two-man drill, we call it tandem. He said he knew he had the first guy beat already. And we're thinking, what? Yeah, I said, the guy that, he said, the first guy was in my peripheral. I was looking at the guy behind him because I was trying to decide which way should I move now to get him off his, off his weight so I can go the opposite way. So in his mind, he already had the first guy beat. It was just done. It was a done deal. He had the guy beat. So he was looking at the second guy. And just his thought process. And he, and he actually walked us through some of the videotape of his runs. And he, and he wasn't even looking at the videotape. You would swear it was a parlor trick. Oh, yeah, blah, blah, okay, here, right there, you know. And he, and he was calling the guys' names like they were still playing. So, 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 and so, blah, blah, blah. Now, now, what you can't see here is so, and so is on my peripheral right here. He's coming up from the upper right hand side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this because I know he was left handed. So I was going to blah, 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 this. And he's walking, and it's just like, and it's stuff that was so far over our heads in terms of his, his concepts about wow. how he was going to go about. And, 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 and talk about b- before there was the highlight reel of Barry Sanders, it was Gail Sears. You knew one, two, three, four times a game he was going to do a run, and he might only get, he might only get five yards. But that run from side to side and how he got guys flipping and falling on themselves was going to be something amazing. So that, that just, you know, he's a guy that yeah. should definitely not be lost in the antiquity of the game here.